Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here. And as you can see, broadcasting remote, we are going to stay in town, but we are going to go to an official office. I can tell. We're going to spend some time with Carrie Rosengana. She's the Chief Executive Officer of CAMWA, the Capital Area Michigan Works. And Carrie, thanks for joining us. It's always good to spend time with you. Always good to spend time with you as well, Chris. Thanks for having me. All right, let's talk about mentorship, uh, why it's important, and and then we're going to get into women's leadership, <laughs> like that's a new deal. Come on, <laughs> let's face well, it. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> all right, mentorship. Let's let's go there first of all. Yeah, so I think mentorship, as we are looking at just a very general scope of work, there's three different types of mentorship you can look at. There's a buddy or a peer mentorship, which might happen, you know, friend to friend who, or there's a career mentorship where you're getting some actual career advice from someone and life mentorship. And the thing that we know is in common with all three of those different types of mentorship is it's really all about how you're supporting another individual and you're helping them to understand what are some necessary steps that they might need to take for growth and opportunity. We know that mentorship plays a really critical and important role for individuals individuals as they're growing in a professional career. And it allows for them to have somebody that they can turn to and ask questions of, you know, as they're trying to grow those skill sets that maybe they haven't had to have before. So it's a really important thing that we look at and really value um, as we're looking at building that workforce of today and tomorrow. You know, it's interesting because mentorship, of course, uh, means a whole lot more and there's a whole lot more understanding of it with someone who's actually had mentors. (laughs) <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Have you, have you had mentors? Yeah, I have been really fortunate, Chris, to have really strong mentors throughout my careers. Um, and it actually started right in the beginning when I started at Capital Area Michigan Works in 2007. I was fortunate enough to have um, two specific mentors who guided me and gave me the lay of the land as I was adapting to my new environment and what workforce development was to this community. Um, Moving forward in my career here, I also was then really fortunate to have that direct career mentorship under our previous CEO, Edith Hatter-Williams, who really provided me with those tangible things that I needed to know that would help me to grow into the role that I now have today and also provided me with those support when I needed it or I had questions. It's really important that you can rely on your mentors and that you can also help them to get inspired. Sometimes being that mentor can actually help the mentee as well, you know, to have that that inspiration that they're drawing from them. Um, I'm really fortunate because I have a really, really strong group here of fellow peer mentors as well as career mentors and life mentors who've really had the power to help me make a difference and to change my own perception and gain confidence in myself. So I can't say enough about the benefits of mentorship. Well, you made a great point too, that you can have not just someone sort of above you or more experienced, but also peer mentorship. And that's- absolutely. Yeah, that's a great well to dip into. Um, How how do you recommend people uh, go find mentors, you know, seek them out? Yeah, so I think a great way is to first reach out to somebody that you already have a connection with. I am really, really fortunate to have the support and friendship of a really strong group of fellow women leaders here regionally that was assembled when we were all brought together at a Lansing Chamber of Commerce event back in September of last year. Um, After we were recognized, we've all stayed together to really support each other. Um, Those peers um, that I count in that group are Julie Pinkston, who's the CEO with the Greater Lansing Convention and Visitors Bureau, Nicole No Williams, the President and CEO of the Capital Regional Air Airport Authority, Michelle Lantz, the CEO of the Greater Lansing Food Bank, Cindy Kangas, the Executive Director of the Capital Area Manufacturing Council, as well as Helen Johnson, who's the President of Sparrow Eaton Hospital. I wasn't actually that familiar with any of those women other than having our paths crossed, but that opportunity where we were all brought together really sparked a conversation and a recognition that we needed each other. And it was really powerful. And I think sometimes that's all it takes to find a mentor. You find somebody who you can benefit and you notice that they have some skills that maybe you admire and aspire to and ask them. There's no shame in saying, hey, I really think that there's something special about the work that you're doing. And I would love to learn from you to help grow my own skill set for some of the career aspirations that I have. No, you're absolutely right. Uh, and, and this is not like 
how do you meet men or how do you meet women? You know, you <laughs> definitely <laughs> not, Chris. <laughs> No, this is this is really this really takes some kind of pragmatic thought, and and the thing is too that that I have found is don't relegate yourself to someone within your industry. Absolutely, yeah. yeah I'm actually right now um, a mentor for someone who's in a completely different industry than I am in. She works in communications, um, in an educational system, and she reached out through a peer to see if I would be willing to serve as her mentor. And I am, and I love getting the opportunity to work with somebody who's in a completely different field from me and that we can both bounce ideas off of each other with, and I can support her. You know, just, just very quickly, we really only have about a half minute. It, it, one of the things you, that you learn from mentorship is leadership and the many different types of leadership there are. You're so right, Chris. And I think recognizing those different leadership styles only makes you stronger as a leader. No, you're absolutely right. Carrie Rosengana, thanks so much for joining us. Carrie, of course, is the CEO of CAMWA, the Capital Area Michigan Works. And uh, thanks for the great work you do, by the, by the, by the way. And uh, give our best to your mentorship group there. I will. Thank All you, right. Chris. All right. We're going to be uh, right back on the Michigan Business Beat. Thanks for watching on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris.